Let me ask you about the latest development regarding the team of scientists from WHO visiting China later this week. What can we expect from this trip? So this is a very important part of the scientific study into the origins of the virus. I'm sure, as you know and your viewers know, it's critical for the world to understand how did this virus jump from animals into humans so that we can stop it happening again during this outbreak, but also during outbreaks in the future, and that so we can better understand what the threats from the animal kingdom to the human population are. Now, the, the international uh, scientists, 10 of them from 10 different countries, will be coming to work with their Chinese counterparts, and together they will look at the earliest cases reported in Wuhan and how those people may have got infected and all the other sort of areas, the, the laboratory studies, um, the serology studies, looking at the different animals. And together they will come up with some hypotheses, some questions, mm -hmm. the, the, the critical questions that need to be answered and they'll work out how to do that. Mm -hmm. So we won't have answers, but we will have good questions. Good questions are very first uh, steps uh, for important answers in the future. On the other side, uh, all the politics are involved uh, since the very beginning of uh, the reporting of the outbreak until today. So how are the scientists going to you know, tip that balance well uh, while doing their job? Well, I think as my director general has said, this is about science. Let's leave the politics out of it. This is not about finding someone to blame. This is about understanding what happened so that we can be better equipped as the world to prevent it happening again. Tell me more about what this trip could uh, look for. So that's a lot of different things and luckily we've got a lot of expertise both in the international team and in the local team. So you look at animal health, what's going on in the different animal populations, which animals are most similar in terms of this particular disease to humans. You look at, then you try to look at serology in the animals, are there antibodies? You look at uh, uh, the stories of the people who were first infected, where did they go, who were they in contact, what happened. You look at laboratory uh, samples and laboratory studies and you put all this together you sit together you go through it systematically and put your minds together and say okay this is what we know so far what do we need to know and how are we going to find out those things